So we just got stopped by the Coast Guard. I can't even see it in the video. Oh, here, there. A big, huge ship. A big, huge ship. I got the little, smaller Yeah, and then they, uh, they took our passports and our documents for the boat and they're checking them and then they're gonna come bring them back. So, you can see the big, gigantic boat back right there. Okay, he's getting pulled over again. <laughs> Not for speeding this time though. <laughs> and that's it. They just uh, wrote up a big thing about, they just said it's on record that they pulled us over basically. And guess who the auto? No, actually, it wasn't. I had to sign for it as the auto. No, it actually said my name, and then it said co-owner, and then they, you didn't have a name. <laughs> what? No, where yeah. I signed, it said yacht owner. Yeah, then you I just signed. signed, whatever. Anyways, we're both yacht. Yeah, we're both the owners. What? <laughs> Why did I have to sign then? No. Just because I was driving, I guess. I don't know. No. So that's it, they're gone. They made us sign a document saying that they had pulled us over, basically. Um, our AIS is, our AIS name is still the old boat's name and I haven't updated it. I was been meaning to do it, but I just never got around to it. So I'm gonna have to do that because they did ask us about that. Um, but they were friendly. They weren't, they were pretty nice. Yeah. And uh, they didn't hit their tender off of our boat either. Oh, like the guys in Albania. Like yeah. the Albanian Coast Guard did. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was like half an hour we had to sit there. They kept telling us we could go and uh, motor, but we just had to motor really slow. The issue is, up here before it's dark because the mooring is like really sketchy they have like these huge black um, things sticking out underneath the water so we needed to be there before dark to dock and now I'm scared to walk so we're gonna try to put it into high gear I think take up some time yeah we still have five miles we have to go what time is it southernmost part of the boot of Italy now. We've made it down. Um, actually, we've made it down in uh, like pretty good time. We, we were kind of worried we wouldn't make it down here in time. We're trying to get all the way around Italy before our visas run out. Um, yeah, it's hot though, really hot. And the dog is sleeping underneath his special blanket, his shape blanket. 
Austin eats so much of this cereal. He's all about the granola lately. My boxes and boxes of them. <laughs> Literally. He eats like a ridiculous amount of granola. I think it's like mostly chocolate. But With some hazelnut. Yeah, it's <laughs> still a little healthy. A million degrees here right now um, and it's supposed to get hotter all week oh that's cool it's so hot today oh you got two I just... the same no you're only supposed to get three yeah those are small ones those are small uh, so it's two packs. oh you're filming me yeah <laughs> okay. it's so hot today we finally Bailey was just talking about everything bagless I randomly I found them at the store. I went grocery shopping while Bailey was at the laundromat doing laundry. We filled my entire checked bag full of our laundry. Oh, it's really hot today and inside the city is there's no wind. So it's awful. So we're gonna It's actually, I'm not joking when I say 35, it's 35 degrees Celsius every day. I just had to drag that suitcase, that huge suitcase with the dog through the And once all that's in the fridge, we're going to go to the beach over here. Like a really nice beach, clear water, just right in Old Town. We'll walk around Old Town too. Not staying on the boat. It's so hot. So hot. Also, the caps here, they don't come off for some reason. <laughs> they just have to stay on like this. Yo, stop, it makes me feel uncomfortable. 